what's up guys? We're back reviewing the newest Pixar animation movie, Finding Dory, the sequel that's been pretty much long in the making from Finding Nemo. Directed by Andrew Stanton and brings back the same voice cast as before with Albert Brooks as Marlin and Ellen DeGeneres as Dory. This time though, Dory's the main character and it really worked and I'm really happy to say that this movie is a fun time at the movies. And it's such a fun adventure too. You know, it's very fast paced as well and I really did like that. It gets you right into the beat and I think some people will have faults with that but I actually enjoyed it. I've seen it two times now and the first time I saw it I was like, oh wow, we're getting right into it. And I was kind of like, cut, caught me off guard but the second time I saw it, I was like, dang, we're really getting into this and I really liked it. It's really fun seeing how fast paced the movie goes. It just goes whoop, right into the right into the movie in the story and it really does make you care about Dory. You know, Dory in the first one, forgiven, people might have been like, why are you pushing a side character to the main? Where Cars 2, they tried that and it didn't work. This movie, it works and it really makes you care about Dory. You get to see her past, her family, where she grew up at. You get to see all that and it really works this time. You know, her parents are so caring and you see that in these flashbacks that you get with Dory and Dory the baby is literally one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And let me say this, Hank the Octopus, voiced by Ed O'Neill, is fabulous. He's probably one of my favorite Pixar characters of all time now. You also have other new characters with sea lions and otters and a whale and a, a, a beluga whale. I keep right off the top of my head. And you know, the whole new cast and the whole new, all the new creatures and all the new animals, it's just such a fun time getting to know everyone. And it makes me so excited. Maybe they'll go on to another adventure and we get to see another finding story. But really, this movie is so, it does the franchise such a well and it makes me so happy. You get to say the, hear the same music cues. You get to see where Dory and how she got to Marlin and where they met in the first one. And it's very cute and seeing that all. Kids will enjoy this movie. Adults will enjoy this movie. If you love Finding Nemo, you're really going to like Finding Dory. Is it better than the first one? I don't know. For me, not as much. But I still really loved Finding Dory. And I would recommend this to any other person I see it. Who Any person. I've seen it twice, like I said. And I really do think this is a special kind of movie. Pick Pixar Disney, you guys did a phenomenal job this time. If I'm going to rate this movie, my reviews have usually been 5s to 10s. I'm going to start doing the, I like to do, I think I'm going to do the letters now. And for this movie, I'd give it a B plus. I think this movie is really fabulous and it's such a fun time with the movies. Really go check it out. And also make sure that if you guys go and see this movie, stay after the credits. There is an after credit scene. And at first when I was waiting, I was like, oh, I hope this isn't a letdown. And it makes you laugh. It makes you chuckle. And you're like, oh there it goes and I I'm really excited to see where maybe they take that or if that's it for the gang but overall Finding Dory is phenomenal and I really recommend it other than that guys look out for more reviews coming up I'm catching up I'm gonna start every week I'm gonna try and get a review out or a video out on something and we'll see where it goes you guys see that I've rearranged my background a little more you still got the Funko Pops I still got the Blu-rays but here we go Get ready to enter Zach Pope reviews. Coming out more. Have a great rest of the day.